all in God's hands right here on WCHB, the voice of the church. All these things that are going on right now in Shadal Request Thursday. And, of course, the number is 313-837-1340. We have to pause for a second because I'm going to the phone lines and I want to talk to someone. He is a school teacher. He is a school teacher in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. And he's calling in this morning. I asked him to call in because he's a school teacher and he has hands on. He is in the system and he knows about things that are going on. And he teaches, if I'm not mistaken, elementary school, correct? Yes, sir. Elementary. All right. This is Brother Sammy. No, I I call him Mr. R, Mr. Rigo, Mr. Sammy Rigo. How are you? Welcome to the morning breakthrough, sir. And thank you for uh, calling in this morning. I really appreciate it. How are you? Excellent. I'm doing excellent, man. Uh, uh, heart's a little heavy, but, um, you know, I'm grateful to be on talking to you right now. Absolutely. I, I really appreciate it, man. So, all right. So coming off of what happened just the other day, and I, I know that uh, what grade do you instruct? So I teach second grade. OK, so uh, there was a, a lot of second graders that lost their lives the other day. So uh, yeah. did any of the children approach you? And uh, this is a twofold question. Did any of them approach you? And how did you deal with that, with the children talking to them? Well, you know, some some kids didn't even come to school. You know, I think some of the parents just kind of felt it, kind of felt heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, they just kind of said, you know, like, we're just going to take this day off. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Obviously, like, the world's hurting. Everybody's seeing it. So, you know, something didn't come. And then there were a few that came in just terrified. You know what I'm saying? Some just were scared. They, they came in and, you know, the deputy had to walk them in. I had a young girl, you know, her, the deputy literally had to walk her from her car to my classroom. Just, she's just in fear. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, so you you having to speak to the children, what did you say to them to kind of comfort them? Well, you know, it, it's a conversation that, you know, you, no one's re- prepared for. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I didn't go to college to learn how to uh, speak about Be a crisis, um, crisis management, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Not at all, you know. Um, um, or even, you know, emotionally how to handle that. So it was... We just kind of had some open talks, and I tried to listen and try to, you know, ensure that, you know, we are, you know, safe and that we'll do whatever we can and to keep them safe. And I myself will do everything to my abilities to keep them safe. Wow. And and I know your children really trust you. I see you 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 do such great work. I, I see the innovation that you have with your children. I, I think it's very commendable of you. And uh, so what is the advice that you would have for uh, some of these? Because I know that students, a lot of students, they confide in their teachers. What, what are some of the things that uh, you would uh, say to the parents that are listening right now? Yeah, you know, I, my... If you, you you know we're we're online all the time we're talking online all the time and I always say you know I'm, it's kind of like my slogan like wait with your kids at the bus stop mm-hmm. like that's the number one like you know I know parents you know what I mean or we kind of get can get tired so but forever wait with your kids at the bus stop wait with other people's kids at the bus stop always supervise from there to the building you know just try to keep those gaps of super to avoid them gaps of supervision, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then I also say, like, you know what I mean, have honest conversation with your kids. I mean, allow them to be vigilant. You know what I mean? We are in a dark world right now, mm-hmm. you know, and it seems like it's just getting darker and darker. Mm-hmm. Um, but as believers, it's important for us to, you know what I mean, pray over our children, cover our children, supervise our children, and, and, and really teach them how to be vigilant in this world. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm so glad you said that because I was just about to say that because I know you're a believer. And the one thing mm-hmm. about it is you're right. Pray, uh, cover your children, make sure that yeah. you even anoint your home, you know. And I'm sure you anoint your classroom. Absolutely. 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 Um, right. And another thing, like I remember as a kid, you know, you know, I also believe in, you know, consecration. Like, take all your kids to the living room before the first day of school. Pray with them. Dedicate the year to God and, mm. and watch. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you need to continue doing them kind of things and, and having, hey, listen, God, this is your year. I'm sending my two, three, four kids to school. This is what, you know what I mean? The enemy is all obviously lurking, but, you know, I'm sending my kids for this 
under your watch, Lord, here you go, and kind of really consecrating your family, your kids, and all your efforts to God, and, and watch him protect our children. Amen. All right. Well, I really appreciate those words of wisdom, Mr. Sammy Rigo, and Mr. R. Yes, and you continue yes, to sir. do the work that God has commissioned you to do, because one thing about it, the Bible tells us clearly that my people perish for the lack of knowledge. And you're instructing yes. the children, not only in uh, education, but also in I'm sure you're able to speak a little bit about uh, um, the salvation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't know how far you can Absolutely. go because, uh, you know, I know that these uh, they're not only are they, they want to talk about uh, protection, but they don't want you to bring Jesus into the classrooms. I, 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 Absolutely. I, you know, it's, it's just yeah. an oxymoron to me. How, how are we going to protect somebody? Because let me tell you something. The Bible clearly tells us you live by the sword, you die by the sword. But if you trust.